Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been planning on doing for a long time. Today I'm going to be reacting to this video. This is my like viral social anxiety video. It's now been seven years since I uploaded that video and obviously a lot has changed. So I wanted to react to it and reflect on it and like kind of update certain things. I have like no memory so I do not remember what I said in that video. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I've done a lot of other like updates and stuff so I'll put a playlist down below of all my other social anxiety videos if you wanted to see more updates of how I got better and stuff because as you'll see I am a lot better. I haven't watched this back in years if ever and I'm really scared. I don't know why I put it in black and white and I put like dramatic sad music in the background that's another reason why I haven't watched it again. I think it was trying to like show that it was like sad and a big deal. Oh okay. I just want to re-say once again, I had like, I think less than a thousand subscribers when I uploaded that video. I got a lot of like, oh, how could you upload this to this many people? I had no idea anyone was going to see that video. I got no views when I uploaded that. Also, I filmed it and then like almost deleted it. Like I didn't upload it for a long time, didn't edit it for a long time because I thought it was dumb and nobody would relate. I also just want to say that you guys helped me too and that video helped me too. Hundreds of people have told me that like that video helped them so much and that video helped me so much okay i don't know why i'm like so nervous to do this god almost 600,000 views like i said my videos were getting like 100 views at the time so i was not expecting that i look so young and i know my voice sounds so different social anxiety is hell it's like living your whole life thinking that everyone is watching you everyone is criticizing you everyone is just waiting for you to fail so that they can laugh at you. The simplest thing- Okay, I still do kind of feel like that though. Makes you want to just sit and hide in your room for the rest of your life and just not have to see anybody ever. Okay, so I do have like videos and videos about this, but I will quickly sum it up. I do still like avoid going outside at all costs. A pandemic helps that uh, be possible. I have gotten better in social situations, but I will avoid them. Ordering food at a restaurant is is one of the hardest things. Like if I'm at a restaurant with my family and the, the waitress comes by and is asking us what we want, I'm usually last because I never speak up. So I was actually going to say I like to go first just to get it done and over with, but I'm a lot better now. I still dread it, but it's not one of the worst um, at all how I described it. What if I say it wrong and then I like get it out and then they ask me another question like if what I want on the side and then I just panic because everyone's looking at me, my, my family. So things like on the top like that, I don't have to practice as much anymore and then if people ask questions that I wasn't expecting, I'm better at that now. So this is actually like therapeutic. I was mainly gonna do this like for you guys just so you can see, but like I'm liking this for me because I am not like this anymore. I can't talk to people on the phone or on video chat. I can't talk to my grandparents if I need a phone. Phone calls are better. Um, once again, video chat, like, kind of forced to at the moment, but I'll say that I would prefer to do things in person than video chat. There have been a couple of appointments and stuff that I really would have rather to do in person, but had to do them over video. So I just sat there. I, I just want to know what was going on with the background. Like, I don't know if I was trying to make the whole background that pattern and make it so you couldn't see the wall. Pretended that it didn't bother me that everyone else was like talking with their friends and stuff when I was just sitting there and if someone did talk to me for it's interesting because like um some of these things they still affect me but I did like they don't bother me any anymore I don't go to school anymore but when everyone else is talking around me and I'm just alone like that still happens but it doesn't bother me anymore like I don't notice it anymore Lord. four days a week for I'm only in the car for like two minutes after she gets dropped off so I'm fine because she's talking stuff and then when she gets dropped off I switch into the front seat and then my stomach starts like this is sad. I feel really sad for myself. I wish that I could just like go back to this girl and just say like, you figure it out. You get it sorted out. This doesn't last forever. I like, I really wish I could do that because I really truly thought that 
I was stuck and I was broken. I get my phone in my hand because it just makes me feel better when I have my phone in my hand. I guess because if there's ever an awkward situation, I just look at it. And I walk in and okay. now still same i am constantly looking at my phone even when i don't need to yeah that just sucks because i don't even see that as a thing anymore now i wouldn't even think to bring that up because it's just part of me whereas then it was a coping mechanism that i have but now it's just like a trait that i have what's with the bow in my hair hi hi and i'm like hi and i try to sound nice and i try to smile and i try to sound happy to see them but i just can't okay I thought that this maybe was just an insecurity and it was in my head, but no, I had an issue at work where this guy was like, said that I'm like rude and I just like too good to say hi to anyone. Yeah, so that's still a thing. I still don't say hi to people and mm, I can't say things and I want to because I want to say things to people and I want to sound friendly and nice and like approachable, but I can't because I'm just too nervous I'm gonna mess up my words. So that has gotten a lot better. I am able to say like the how are you and you too and all that now, but I do always think that it sounds really fake, but I am able to do that because my social anxiety was like actually getting worse. It was a matter of I either don't say this and stay comfortable because I stay silent or stay even more uncomfortable because people think that I'm a bitch because I'm like quiet not saying anything so that kind of overtook and now I, I would be even more uncomfortable if I didn't say anything if that makes sense probably not I can't go to the bathroom by myself like if I'm in the mall and I have to go to the bathroom and my mom's like okay go to the bathroom we'll meet you in this store I just like okay no I'll pee my pants see I have come a long way things like that like are not so much of a problem anymore a lot of these things were, when I look back on it, a reason that I didn't like to like order at a restaurant or go to the bathroom or whatever is the fear of the unknown. If it doesn't go exactly how I think it might, I couldn't take spontaneous situations and like come up th with things on the spot, but I'm kind of like better at that. I still do think everyone's looking at me and everyone's judging me and I probably won't ever change that, but it's more of a instead of a oh my god they're looking at me they're judging me i just want to combust it's more of a, like they're looking at me they're judging me and it's like a, okay it's okay if they are like it doesn't matter so i still think that all eyes are on me but i just don't care the way that i used to part of that is because i can just like edit out the embarrassing parts which i did right when i started my channel but I didn't realize that I literally said this in this video because a lot of people were like, how can you do videos if, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, for social anxiety, a lot of it was that I didn't have confidence in myself. So if I was going to say something in public or whatever, then I might like in my head go, oh, I wish I didn't say that. Like that was so dumb. That didn't make sense. It came out wrong. But if I'm filming a video and I'm watching it back and editing it and going, oh, that didn't come out right, then I just boop delete it. So... If you still don't get it, then I just, you probably never will, so don't, don't bother anymore. Thank you guys for leaving all the nice comments and messaging me on Facebook and stuff and telling me how much you like my videos because it's... Thank you guys still. It's been seven years and I still get messages about this very video. I still get comments on it. You guys are still so nice to me. Self and I can and people will still like me if I make I weird. definitely meant to edit that. That was definitely one of my stop and restart moments. Because this channel has done everything in beyond what I was hoping for it to do. I'm trying not to cry, but this was like inspiring. I needed this right now when I was kind of stuck and like not knowing the direction that I want to go in. This channel did help me so much. I literally don't know what I would have done. If anyone can relate to anything that I'm seeing, I'll put my Tumblr down below and you can send me a message and you don't have to have a Tumblr account. I got so many like probably thousands of messages from this like my friend had to help me go through and respond to a whole bunch of them because there was so many and I don't even have that account anymore I don't know if you can send it anything so thank you guys I love you mm.
Wow, I wish that I could go back and talk to myself there. Let me know what other social anxiety videos you want. Like I said, I've done a lot, but there are probably more that I can do to tell you guys like how I got to some of the points that I am at now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!